don't move any further. Look there in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That whole area is kinda gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, Traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call Tumors of the Withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Thank you, but I must warn you. Don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside of the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. You ready then? Let's go. First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Great work. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. By royal decree! Hold the line! Now, destroy the tumors of the withering! Yes, thanks to you two. We were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? It's that obvious, huh? All right, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant war work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Huh? Well, why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. No... None that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. 
By the way, have you heard of Ermensoul before? Ermensoul is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermensoul, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermensoul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermensoul. And as for the Withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermensoul. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the Withering Zones here for a long time until a cure is found. Alright, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gandarvaville. <laughs>